Hello, and welcome to another Kids Connect video, where you can learn all about the amazing world around you, with fun and educational facts and worksheets. In today's episode, we're going to learn about the wonders of our planet, and its intricate balance that sustains life. From lush rainforests, to vast deserts. Can you guess what it is? It's our ecosystems. Here's a question to think about while you watch. All animals are important to their ecosystems. But there are species that have a huge impact on the structure and role of an ecosystem. If removed, it can lead to significant changes, and even ecosystem collapse. Do you know what the name is for these? Watch until the end for the answer. Let's start with what an ecosystem means. An ecosystem is a complex network of living organisms. Non-living elements. In their interactions. It encompasses all the plants. Animals. Microorganisms. In their surrounding habitat, including the air. Water. Soil. And other natural elements. And yes. As a living organism, we humans are part of an ecosystem. Ecosystems are amazing communities of organisms creating a delicate web of life. Each component is crucial in maintaining balance. From the tiniest microbes. To the largest predators. For example, plants convert sunlight into energy through photosynthesis. Providing food and oxygen for other organisms. Herbivores then feed on plants. Carnivores hunt herbivores. And decomposers break down dead organic matter, recycling nutrients back into the ecosystem. There are many types of ecosystems found across our planet, each with unique characteristics and species compositions. Let's look closer at terrestrial, aquatic, polar, mountain, and urban ecosystems. Our first stop takes us deep into terrestrial ecosystems, including forests, grasslands, and deserts. Forest ecosystems include tropical, temperate, and boreal forests, characterized by diverse tree species and a dense canopy. Grassland ecosystems are found in areas with moderate rainfall, and are dominated by grasses supporting grazing animals like bison, antelope, and zebra. Lastly, desert ecosystems are arid regions with sparse vegetation that's adapted to extreme temperatures, and water scarcity. Cacti and reptiles are common desert inhabitants. Now let's plunge into aquatic ecosystems, including freshwater, and marine ecosystems. Freshwater includes rivers, lakes, ponds, and wetlands. They are home to fish, amphibians, aquatic plants, and diverse microorganisms. Marine ecosystems cover vast oceans, including coral reefs, estuaries, and open ocean habitats, which support a rich array of marine life, including fish, marine mammals, and coral species. Now, let's journey to the Arctic and Antarctic regions, characterized by frigid temperatures and snowy landscapes. Polar ecosystems are home to specialized species like polar bears, penguins, and seals, adapted to survive the cold. Next up, mountain ecosystems are high-altitude areas characterized by cold temperatures, thin air, and diverse flora and fauna, including alpine plants and elusive mountain-dwelling animals. Meanwhile, the unique ecosystem shaped by human activities is called an urban ecosystem. Urban areas with parks, gardens, and green spaces within cities provide habitats for birds, insects, and plants, contributing to urban biodiversity. Ecosystems also provide essential human services, such as regulating climate, purifying air and water, pollinating crops, controlling pests, and providing food, medicine, and raw materials. But, the dynamics of ecosystems have changed rapidly in a few centuries, due to climate change, and human activities like deforestation, pollution, and habitat destruction. The beating heart of our planet provides us with clean air, fresh water, fertile soil, and a myriad of things essential for life. But human activities threaten these valuable habitats, and we have a communal responsibility to preserve and conserve them. Here are some actions to help build a sustainable future. As individuals, let's promote the value of ecosystems and the importance of conservation. Be empowered to make informed choices and actively preserve your local environments through responsible waste management and restoration projects in your immediate community. On an institutional scale, petition governments to engage in sustainable land and resource management, establishing protected areas such as national parks, wildlife sanctuaries, in marine reserves, is a fundamental conservation measure. 
Other steps include sustainable agriculture, forestry, and fishery practices to minimize negative impacts on ecosystems. Today, governments engage in international agreements, such as the Convention on Biological Diversity and the Paris Agreement, which provide frameworks for global cooperation on ecosystem conservation. At the heart is collaboration among nations, targets, and goals for biodiversity preservation and climate change mitigation. Remember, the time to act is now. Together, we can be responsible stewards of our ecosystems and ensure a brighter and greener future for all. And now for the answer you've been waiting for. The name of important species in an ecosystem is Keystone species Due to their significant impact on balance and stability. Examples include sea otters, which prey on sea urchins, which in turn help maintain the health and survival of kelp forests. Likewise, beavers are known as nature's architects because they build dams and create wetlands. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this lesson, visit Kids Connect for fun worksheets on many more natural science topics. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about new content. See you in the next video.